Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald and today I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy, install, self-host Moodle on your own server uh, very quickly. So Moodle is some e-learning system, open source. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, still got to look into it myself. Um, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you how to do it. Um, before we get started on, on creating it in Coolify, I would like to prepare the DNS provider because I want to have this installed on my own custom domain, moodle.amazingtutorials369.uk. So to Cloudflare, we're adding an record, an A record, uh, Moodle, but I can make this anything I like. I can also say e-learning, but I'm going for Moodle. And the IPv4 address I've taken the same as my Coolify installation, uh, like so, hitting save. And now this is prepared. So now we go to Coolify, we select the project, add new, and in the services we search for Moodle, like so. Click localhost, because I want it to be on the same server as the Coolify thing. Uh, standalone Docker, and then over here. Here's something important to know um, about this particular one in the environment variables. You need to look for uh, surface password root. So this one, I'm going to copy this already uh, and I'll change this after the video, so no worries. And uh, Moodle username, we can set that. By default, it's set to user. I'm going to set this to Ronald, hit update. And now I'm going back to the configuration I want to put this on a custom domain, so I go to this one over here. I say HTTPS dot, and then what we put into Cloudflare, Moodle dot amazing tutorials 369.uk, like so. We hit save, we go back. Uh, I like to change this, it's not necessary, but I like it. And uh, we hit deploy. Now we simply wait until this thing turns green and it's green very quickly. So it's close, open application, go over here. Now this might happen. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of uh, a little bit of patience and, and try again in a minute or so. It can also be that the site is not protected uh, and it's not safe or something like that. That just means that you gotta wait like uh, also a little bit until you're encrypt thing is, is going to do its work. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time uh, in order to make it all work. So patience is usually a good thing, uh, more or less like five minutes. All right, so after a little bit of waiting, uh, this is showing up, so that's great. So we hit login. Now, um, yeah, this is because I already got into this a little bit before this video. Um, so we see login to new site. Now username would be user if it would be default, um, but I set it to Ronald, so I'm going to fill in Ronald, and I paste in the password that I just copied previously from the environment variables. And then I'm getting an invalid login, and please try again. <coughs> Surface password Rudol, let's try this one. Ah, okay. <laughs> So, as you notice, uh, I got the wrong password. Uh, it was not the surface password fruit, but it was the surface password Moodle, so this one. But it was with my Moodle username Ronald, so my bad. Um, but this is also how to read a little bit of these environment variables and knowing that you can change them. So, you know, for the purpose of this video and learning and stuff, you learn my mistakes too. <laughs> and then we are inside, so now we're inside Moodle and we can start doing things in here and start diving into the documentation, how to set up a course and all that, uh, which I'm not going into in this video. All right, have a great day. Thank you for your time and your attention and uh, enjoy. <laughs> See you, bye.